Today I'm going to show you how to create a simple frame by frame animation using Photopea. Photopea is a raster graphic editor very similar to Adobe Photoshop. It will run directly in your web browser. You just need to head to www.photopea.com. Here's my new document. I already have imported this little PNG character. Now I will draw some kind of background for it using rectangle tool. I can click on fill color to modify it. I can even change to gradient. We can move the gradient to be vertical, change the angle to 90 degrees. Now we can modify the colors of both ends. This will be like grass to blue sky. I can even add additional points on my gradient just by clicking on it. And on this side, blue sky. I want the gradient to be much sharper. I need a like, hard transition, not the soft one like this. I think I would delete this point and modify this one. All right. This way we end up with this simple background, something like grass and sky. I will rename this layer to backdrop. I will use move tool to drag my character to starting position. Resize a little bit and move this guy. Maybe over here. I need to confirm. All right. And now I will rescale our backdrop to cover the whole artboard like this confirm and now we are ready to start with our animation here's the most important step we need to rename our character underscore a underscore and then the name of your layer that's very important this way we are showing the software we want to make this as animation i make a duplicate i move it duplicate move it duplicate layer and move it using move tool now i'm moving each frame to new position this way i will have a movement here so as you can see each layer got underscore a underscore at the beginning this way we are informing the software that this will be animation now simply right click on the next layer and duplicate the layer then use move tool to modify the position this way we're going to create a frame by frame animation. My backdrop doesn't have this underscore a underscore in this name, so it will stay through the whole animation. But the doggy will switch between different layers. We got one layer will be just one frame in the animation. You will see it in a moment. Let me just create a few more copies, very simple, right click, duplicate layer, then move it to new position, just like this. All right, I got multiple copies of my character with modified position. Now it's time to play them as the sequence. So file, export as GIF or GIF over here. You want to resize? No, thank you. So I will cancel. And here will be my preview. Here it is, my frame by frame animation. Nice. In this window, I can modify the size, quality, speed. Let's adjust the speed, make it faster a little bit. Oh, much better. I like it. There are also two checkboxes. We can reverse frame. So it's like backward or like this. It's not what I really want for this one. So I will uncheck it. And we got also boomerang option. If you are 
Instagram user, you will be familiar with this one. So in Boomerang, you will play your animation in normal sequence and then inverted sequence. So we'll go like to the beginning. Okay, let's give it a go. This is the boomerang. And then go back. For my animation, I got like perfect loop in normal sequence. I will turn it off and keep it simple. Like this. Perfect. Now I simply hit save and my web browser will download GIF from me. You see, it will be in your download folder for the web browser. And here's my GIF. This is the simple way how you can create frame by frame animation using free software Photobee. I hope you have learned something new. See you in my next tutorial.